All right, uh, Jim Gray, quiet, understated resolve, the common thread from both fighters, but the action will be there in the ring. All right, folks, we've got one more bout to go. Before we get to the main event, let's take you back downstairs to Gus Johnson. All right, JB. Well, Fredo Vasquez Jr.'s father was a three-division world champion and one of the greatest Puerto Rican fighters ever. His son is doing pretty well himself. He won the WBO title 15 months ago, and this will be Vasquez Jr.'s third defense. His challenger, a familiar face, former champion Jorge Arce, who will be engaging in his 24th world title fight. Vasquez Jr. versus Arce. And we missed... Jorge Arce with his signature lollipop and cowboy hat, always flamboyant. He says he's not as hyper as he used to be. And what are the keys for this veteran? Well, for Jorge Arce, however he does it, he has got to get on the inside and inside the long punches of Vasquez that can hurt him. And once he's there, he's got to make this a messy brawl. Just do anything he can to rough up Vasquez. His best weapons when he's on the inside will be left hooks to both the body and the head. He can throw that punch very well. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. trained by his father, the great champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Sr. No amateur fights, but an undefeated record. Only one draw, and what are the keys for this young, sensational Puerto Rican champion? Lateral movement is really important. That is like kryptonite to Jorge Arce, so he's got to show him some movement. Vasquez is an excellent body puncher, and Arce is the smaller and older man, so you'd want to go to the body. The Vasquez right hand, that is his money punch. He hopes to land it tonight and maybe get a knockout with it. So let's size him up, Al, as we check out the tail of the tape. Well, you can see the big numbers here are the, uh, uh, the is the height advantage for Vasquez. There's not a giant reach advantage. There's none at all, in fact. But Arce doesn't fight tall, and Arce, the older man, been in a lot of wars. So we're ready for Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. versus Jorge Arce for the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship. Let's get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Nevada. At this time, we present a world championship attraction brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated in association with Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, and Showtime. Also made possible by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. AT&T, the nation's fastest mobile broadband oh, yeah, network. Yeah, people, people, Mortal yeah, Kombat yeah, Fatality lives owned it on ps3 or xbox today and smart communications the philippines largest mobile phone company this bout is also presented in conjunction with all-star boxing and zenfer promotions and is sanctioned by the wbo president francisco valcarcel supervisor luis perez along with the nevada state athletic commission Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside. From Reno, Nevada, Bert Clements. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Robert Hoyle. And from Muncie, Indiana, Gary Merritt. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, fair but firm, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, on my right, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with blue trim, fighting out of Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at the junior featherweight limit of 122 pounds, with a record of 56 wins, six losses and two draws. He has 43 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number one junior featherweight contender. Here is the longtime WBC light flyweight world champion and the former WBO junior bantamweight champion of the world, introducing the popular Jorge El Tradieso Arce. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with purple trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. 
He weighed in the same as his opponent, 122 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, one draw with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the third defense of his title. Please welcome the undefeated WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, introducing El Hijo del Orgullo de Puerto Rico, Wilfredo Vasquez. Once again, our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Joe Cortez. Okay, caballeros, here we are. Regular Donald Camerino. I gave you both the instructions in the dressing room. La truza tuya también. La tuya, you're a little bit high, un poquito alta. Quiero una pelea limpia, protesta en todo momento. Take it to the whole time, remember, guys. I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. Alfredo Vasquez Jr. defending his WBO Junior Featherweight World title. He kisses his father, the former champion. And Jorge Arce, 31 years old, 56, 6, and 2. Experience versus youth and skill. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that's going to be a, a, a major key in this fight tonight, experience. You know, uh, Vasquez with no amateur fights in the 21 pro fights, and Arce was also an experienced amateur, and, uh, you know, he's had almost 60 fights as a professional, so there is a big difference. But Vasquez has shown in recent fights that he has the makings of a really good boxer puncher, and he's trying to start to become a smooth fighter. You know what's funny though? Or Arce, who came all the way up from flyweight, when you look at these two men in the ring, Antonio, he doesn't look like the smaller fighter, Arce, does he? Well, I tell you what, they both look in tremendous yeah. shape. And no, that he really doesn't. He's muscular, but I'll say uh I'll say that uh Vasquez has strong legs. He has some big calves on him. As for Vasquez. He is coming off an 11th round TKO win against former WBO Junior Bantamweight World Champion Ivan Hernandez in his last fight, October of 2010. And when he beat Zolt Bidik, uh from Hungary, defending his title, a fight that people thought would be very difficult, and he just dominated him, uh, that was the, the fight in which people said to themselves, this young man could be a good pro. Good left hook by Arce there. And Vasquez won the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title by knocking out previously undefeated Southpaw Marvin Sonsona, February of 2010, stopping him in the fourth round with a left hook to the body. This is the boxing and movement that Vasquez would like a little bit of to give Arce something to think about. Right there is where I think Arce will have his biggest impact is when he has uh, when he has Vasquez Jr. on the ropes and he's coming with those devastating body shots. That was a good left hook downstairs before that you referenced by Arce. Yeah. Nice looping right hand by Alfredo Vasquez Jr. Arce. Oh, beautiful left hook. And that hurt him. Vasquez Jr. holds on. Yeah, Arce when... said once he gets inside, this kid is going to have problems with me. Right hand. Arce stalking Vasquez backing up. Short right hand connecting to Vasquez Jr. Arce to the body, hooking up top. Arce really laying into his punches, sitting on him. 20 seconds ago in the first round. That's the firefight that Jorge Arce loves, and uh, he made that the way he wanted it. Closing moments of the first round. The veteran Arce, a very solid beginning. Everything good? Okay, that, that was the first round. Keep going in the middle. You keep fighting him in the middle, okay? And you close up a little more, okay? And protect yourself inside. Got it, baby. 
Yeah, keep working upstairs. The right hand of Arce, that one he kind of leaned in on. He shouldn't be landing punches from that far out against Vasquez. That's really surprising. He had him kind of against the ropes, and those are kind of wide looping punches, but they did get in for Arce. That left hook from outside is not one you expect to land for him. Well, you know what? Uh, Vasquez Jr. relaxed there for a minute. He thought he was out of the way, but you saw his way Arce jumped in with that hook. It wasn't just a hook that he turned over. He leaped in with that hook and caught him. Jorge Arce, former two-time world champion at light flyweight. That's 108 pounds. Also a three-time interim world champion at light flyweight, flyweight, and super flyweight, 108, 112, 115. This could turn into a real firefight because Vasquez has decided to go after Arce. Well, you definitely don't want Arce backing you up, so you might as well back him up. Boy, are you right. <laughs> That's exactly right. And of course, Vasquez needs to stay in the center of the ring. Getting against the ropes is not uh, good for him. By the way, in his father, one of three uh, father-son uh, funds that have won world championships, Leon Spinks and Corey Spinks, Floyd Patterson, Tracy Harris Patterson, and Judy oh. Espada and his son. And you know what I'm surprised at seeing? That Arce is able to counterpunch Vasquez Jr. That I didn't expect. Yeah. Arce telling us that he wanted to fight him close from the very beginning. And once he started touching him to the body, the young man would have problems. When you just look at their faces. Vasquez Jr. so young. Arce, you can see the wars. Wow. Body shots. That's a good, that's some good action. Both are charming men, each in their own way. I mean, you, you sit in a room with either yeah. of these men, they light up the room, don't they? Very engaging, very engaging. Vasquez Jr. Right now, they're kind of lighting up the ring with some great action. And if the fight continues like this, I understand what Arce was saying. He said he called him a baby because he's never been in a real war with a real man. So right now, in Arce's mind, school's in. Mm -hmm. And you see, Jorge Arce's not the classic fighter, but he just gets the job to hold. Oh, nice shots by Vasquez, so. <laughs> now Arce saying, bring it on. He's nothing if not colorful. Nice jab by Arce. A left hook lands for Arce. Right hand. Another right hand. Arce wants to make this a brawl, and that's what he's doing in the second round. Both men are landing big shots, and both men now landing big body shots. This is a fun fight already. Arce, an action fighter, one of the most popular human beings in all of Mexico. Yeah, he's, he points out that he is and uh, might not be the best Mexican fighter, but he's the most popular. It was on Dancing with the Stars in Mexico, and the ratings shot to the top when he was on. Finished third, by the way. Don't tell him he's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the fight that Arce wanted. This is what he wanted to go in here with that type of pressure. Okay, you're doing great. You're doing great. Very good. This is the third round coming up. Okay, enjoy this fight. You're enjoying it, but just keep working. Keep working on what you're doing now. In the last round, Jorge Arce pressing forward. And it wasn't that he didn't take punches while pressing forward, but in this sequence, you see him ripping the body. Both men actually doing some very good body work, but Arce just committed to that. And we will find out at a certain point at this, as this round continues. There's the left hook of Arce, which has been a signature punch for him, and is landing from far out on some occasions. Vasquez trying to counter punch, but Arce's pressure is having some effect on him. And you can see that right hand, not delivered straight by Arce. It's not perfect, but it got there. Third round scheduled for 12 for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. The champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., undefeated, 20-0-1 with 17 KOs, is in the white trunks and veteran Jorge Arce. Let's go. In the silver and blue. 
And so far, Arce has dictated the pace. And Al, you're such a great boxing historian. There have been some classic matchups between Puerto Rican and fight Puerto Rican fighters and Mexican fighters over the years. Absolutely, we, uh, you know uh, Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito. Recently, Ivan Calderon and Giovanni Segura, Trinidad and Campos, Camacho Chavez, Rosario Chavez. You go down the list. Uh, it's just a very, very great rivalry that you see on a regular basis in boxing, and it's fun because both countries are very avid about their boxing. And a very active fight so far out. Yeah, lots of punches being thrown, uh, and Arce throwing more. They're very close in landing, but the activity of Arce shows you he's pressing the fight. Now some blood on the bridge of the nose of Arce. Yeah, one thing that Alfredo Vasquez Jr. has shown in his young career is that he's patient. He could get you out of there in the later rounds. Well, he's gonna need that type of patience tonight. And I would advise him to roll up under some of those shots and, and move out instead of going straight back. You know, he needs to start giving Arce some angles. 121 to go in the third round. Arce takes a left hook, keeps coming forward, delivers double oh, left hook. Wow. <laughs> this is some fight. Beautiful. He's been in these firefights before. They had a fight with Hussein Hussein years ago, Ari Arce, that I still can't believe was again on an undercard of one of the major fights. It was a total war for almost 12 rounds, and nobody could believe both men were standing. And that's the way Arce fights, and this one is shaping up as quite a brawl. However, I like Wilfredo Vasquez Jr.'s composure. Yeah, yeah he's, he's composed well beyond his age. But again, this is a tough fight for him. And you can see early, he's taking a lot of punishment. It's the best I've seen Jorge Arce in a while. He's 4-0-1 since he last lost. And it was all in the year 2010. He had a very busy and productive year. And I'll tell you what, he's fighting as well as I've seen him in a long time. And we mentioned the cuts and maybe uh, the cuts probably being a problem. I see that uh, Arce has a cut of some sort on the left bridge of his nose, if not by his eyes. What do you tell us? I love cuts. It gets me going. I expect to bleed. And he just landed a beautiful over the top right hand. And I think it stunned uh, young Vasquez. It appears that heads came together and caused that cut on the side of the nose. There it is, yep. And uh, that's probably the spot that caused that cut. But it didn't deter Jorge Arce because he kept coming forward, even in the face of those counter punches by Vasquez and was able to land the left hook. You see the posture as, as Arce attacks. He's not even thinking about defense. He just wants to attack. He's wide open. So if you're a good counter puncher, you're going to hit him with punches. But can you stop him? Manuel uh, Montiel, of course, the father of Fernando Montiel, his trainer, uh, who um, is the man that works with him. And Manuel Montiel Jr., the cut man, yep. stitching up Jorge Arce. He gets a little work, doesn't he? Yes, oh, he does. Yeah, he earns his money. Fourth round scheduled for 12 right, break, for the WBO break, break, Junior break, Featherweight break, break. World Title. Jorge Arce in this metallic silver and blue. Taking on the champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. You know, much like we talked about Kelly Pavlik feeling he was uh, uh, liberated by not having to worry about weight at 122, uh, Arce feels like he can concentrate on boxing, not on losing weight. And so far, to some degree, apparently he's right. Arce won the WBO light flyweight title at 19 years old in 1998. He is fighting as a junior featherweight for the third time in a row. And I guess as you get older, Al, you just naturally, when sometimes they say you get your man weight, you start going up and it's not as hard to maintain. Yeah, and especially at these at these lower weights where it's only a three pound difference. Uh, power punches very much in favor of Arce and many of those 58 power punches I think were delivered to the body where he's thrown some huge power punches. 
Yeah, I, I, I actually thought 122 was probably too high a weight for RC, but I think he's performing very well here. And for Vasquez, it's not that he hasn't had his moments in this fight. He has. He just hasn't been consistent enough, and he's allowed himself to get trapped on the ropes against Arce more than he would like. I think this round he's moving really, really well, and he's counterpunching oh, no, no, effectively no, 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 as well. So this is the type of fight that Vasquez is going to need to continue in order to deter uh, Arce. Vasquez just landed a terrific right uppercut, and Arce continues to move forward. Left hook by Vasquez, right hand by Vasquez. He said his father, it's uh, the brains of the outfit, Vasquez Jr. said, and I just take, carry out his actions. He said it's kind of like a, a, a PlayStation game. PlayStation I'm being operated. <laughs> his father has the control. A lot of blood now coming out of the nose. Arce no 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 is just undeterred. He keeps coming in. And Vasquez has yet to land the counter punch that will hurt him. Both fighters exchanging left hooks. Now, now, we are going to see what the young man is made of because he is in there. And Vasquez is one of those warriors. Vasquez is one of those fighters that can box, but at the same time, you see he has a big heart. He don't oh, mind standing don't in there, but I think that's to his detriment tonight against a fighter like Arce. Oh. Vasquez dropping Arce with the left hook. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 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 What an electric ending to the round. Keep your hands up. Everything is under control. Everything's under control. Don't worry about that. You just have to be very close to him. Well, Vasquez, who has presumably more power in his right than his left hook, landed a beauty right on the point of the jaw. The right hand was, was lazy coming back from Arce, and he got nailed with it. Now, the good news for Arce was it happened literally in the final seconds of the round. Now, here's the right hand. It will be very low. Oh, he throws an overhand right, keeps it low, gets banged with the left hook. And luckily for Arce, as I said, it came with just moments to go in the round. See if that minute was enough for him to shake the cobwebs. Junior laid off the stool as both men meet in the center of the ring. Beautiful, stinging right hand by Vasquez Jr. To start the fifth round, scheduled for 12 as he defends his WBO Junior Featherweight World title. The young fighter is fighting really, really good. I mean, that was a picture perfect left hook. But again, like I said, he's willing to lay it all on the line, and he it paid off on him with that last combination. And it was because Arce attacks so wildly and leaves himself open so much, but often fighters don't get that counter punch in because they're busy worrying about what they're going to be hit with. Good uppercut. Nice combinations by Arce. This is just a fun fight to watch. But you're starting to see the strength of Vasquez Jr. Should be some interesting scoring on press row. Uh, Arce leading on two of the scorecards and Vasquez on one of the others. Um, and I have uh, Vasquez, uh, I actually have Arce ahead in this fight by a small margin, 39-37. What do you have, Antonio? I have uh, Arce ahead by one point. Okay. I gave uh, Alfredo Vasquez Jr. the 10-8 round. Yeah. And I gave the first three rounds to Arce. I, I'm of the same, except I made it a 10-9 round because I thought Arce controlled the whole round until the knockout. But you make a case either way. And now it's Arce on the ropes. That's a switch. Oh, my. Great body work by both fighters. The hook, very effective for Arce down low this evening. Arce at 31 has been in 
so many wars, I mean, unmitigated wars, and you wonder if at a certain point his body will give up, but in this fight, he's showing us the relentless nature of what he can do. Yeah, he's definitely looking fresh tonight. I mean, it's no wear and tear on this man. He's strong, and he's determined. Yep. Taking with that left hook to the body. That Vasquez left hook is starting to get there, and it's hurting Arce. You got to give that young man credit. I mean, to be able to be willing to sit yeah. there and take those type of chances. And, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing. 25 seconds to go in the fifth. Another left hook by Vasquez Jr. Arce, though, comes back with a three-punch combination. I think that straight right hand may have shook up Vasquez, but he's still there. <laughs> Coming up, our main event, Manny Pacquiao, Shane Mosley, and yesterday, folks, this was the weigh-in, 8,000 people turned out for the weigh-in, 2,000 were turned away. Our James Brown hosted the weigh-in, and look at Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane Mosley weighs in right at the limit of 147 pounds. Manny Pacquiao weighs in at 145 pounds. Well, if it was a bodybuilding contest, you could do too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of excitement. 8,000 people in there. A couple thousand people couldn't get in. And I'll tell you, I was at that scene as you all, we all were. It was electric. Have you ever seen anything like that at a weigh-in, Al, in all your years? You know, lately, Tyson, there, maybe. there have been some big ones with back Al, but that one, I think, was the most electric I've seen so far with him. Sixth round. Scheduled for 12, the WBO Junior Featherweight World title. The champion in the white and purple trunks. Alfredo Vasquez Jr., the challenger, Jorge Arce in the blue and silver. Look at press row scoring. It has tightened well. Not, not only is it tightened up, it's a draw as far as they're concerned. <laughs> you can't get any tighter than that. <laughs> that, of course, is unofficial. We don't know how the judges are scoring this, but it's been a very entertaining fight, I'll tell you that much. Arce's left hook to the body is taking a lot out of Vasquez. Oh, yeah, I mean, those punches, I mean, uh, you can hear it all over the arena. Those are some devastating body shots. Now I have a 48-47 because I didn't make that a 10-8 round. So I have a, a slight edge for Arce. When Arce backs up Vasquez, it seems like he's a little bit slow with his punches, and that gives Vasquez opportunity to land that big left hook like he dropped him with earlier, and the one he just caught him with over here, uh, early in this round. The story of Vasquez becoming a boxer is extraordinary. He was uh, working at a casino, got laid off, had a little daughter, Went to his dad, of course, a famous boxer, and said, uh, Dad, I'm 25 years old, 21 years old, I want to box. And they he said, no, you're not going to box. See, I've never had an amateur fight. And they, they kind of said, no. Well, he said, yes, I'm going to. And uh, at 21, never having boxed. And here we are about four or five years later, and he's a champion. And, and that's what's amazing yeah. to me, because I know that the amateur boxing experience is such a vivid or valid experience. And for him never to have made these type of leaps and bounds to become a champion is, yeah, is, it, is it, tremendous. In four and a half years with wow. no amateur experience, it's crazy. Bloodline. Yeah, heredity it gives you a lot. And of course his dad was a great, great champion. Oh, nice right by Vasquez Jr. 
But Arce follows it up with a straight right of his own, then goes downstairs with that left hook. This is a really war of attrition right now. Close round. Uh, Vasquez using the left hand. Good, good. You're doing a good there job here. There was a uh, clash of heads first, and uh, both men coming in with their heads. Man, that, that had to hurt. They both banged heads together, and both men really initiated it. Then they would use their fists and the overhand right of Vasquez as he worked on the inside, and Arce himself coming back with a chopping right hand. Then later on in the round, the firefight continued. They, both men landing really dramatic punches. That left hook by Vasquez, which has been a very good punch for him throughout the fight, was able to get in. It was a, just a very well fought and good match. The WBO Junior Featherweight World title. The seventh round scheduled for 12 as the champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., WV2, the son of the legend. As a matter of fact, he and his father share a very interesting honor. The only father-son combination to win the world title in the same weight class. Yes, I mentioned the other ones that had done it, but they were not in the same weight class. That's pretty extraordinary. And they, you could tell the father took great pride in that, as did uh, Junior. Great test, though, oh, for is the it young out? Vasquez Jr., and he's showing up very well so far. Oh, yes, he is. I'm very impressed with him for the man that he is outside of the ring. You know, he's very solid on, you know, on, on solid grounds. He don't let the things that most people let excite them, get, you know, take control of him. He he's, wants to give away the fame. He don't care about the money. He just want to be champion. And I commend him for that. And he and Arce very active. Lots of punches being thrown there. Vasquez looked like he stunned Arce, but Arce throwing almost 300 punches. This is just a very action fight. Look at that action on the inside. Now, I'm not sure Vasquez really wants to be there, Antonio, but you pointed out he's got a warrior mentality. Look at him. Wow. Ooh, both men landing. Giving and taking. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. or a Arce. Great inside fighting. I mean, this is what makes this type of fight hard to score because yes. both fighters are giving as good as they take. You know, we put, put in the keys to victory for Vasquez to land the right hand. Almost everybody thought that would be a, a big punch from a distance. It's really been the left hook for Vasquez that's been more effective. Yeah, it's been that counter left hook when uh, Arce right, is opening up and he leaves those little spots in between when he can be countered. Vasquez Jr. knocking down Arce with the left hook at the end of the fourth round. There's a nice short left as he pivots off and throws a right hand. Barely missed. And I said Arce wanted to make this fight messy, but you know, Ari Arce has shown better technique in this fight in some spots than we're used to seeing. Oh yeah, we're seeing some one-twos yeah. to the head. Like that straight right hand. Mm -hmm. Starting to fill up as we get ready for our main event, and it's one to see. And they are being treated to a great appetizer to the Manny Pacquiao Shane Mosley fight. On the inside, both men landing good punches. You see the left hook 
of Vasquez getting in. And Arce's been throwing good punches, and Vasquez throwing those combinations. Both men throwing very, very good shots. Arce not wanting really to be against the ropes, but he's countering well off the ropes, which you wouldn't expect him to do. So this fight has provided us with plenty of action and lots of excitement. We start the eighth round. The champion is in the white and purple trunks. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., the challenger in the metallic silver and blue, Jorge Arce. Stop. This is for the WBO Junior Featherweight World title. Vasquez Jr. has defended his title twice, but not against a fighter like Jorge Arce. And I think the boxing community watching this, especially pundits, are saying for Arce to be up at 122 pounds and performing this well at a weight that seems pretty high for him, it's pretty extraordinary. And I think that for the most part, uh, Vasquez Jr. in his camp thought, look, he's a smaller man. I'll be able to handle him with my strength. Not necessarily so tonight. But it looks like they prepare for everything. Yes. It seems like he's making the necessary adjustments. I like to see Arce throw that one, two, a little crisper, rather than leaving himself out there by dragging that right hand so that he can be countered with that devastating left foot. Yeah, but you're wishing for something that's <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> Now, press row scoring, demonstrating what a close fight this is. Chris Mannix and Lance Pugmire having it for Vasquez by two, and Tim Dahlberg a uh, draw. I've got Vasquez uh, Jr. ahead by one. Yeah, the 10-8 round definitely helped him. I have him winning four rounds to three. Yeah, so you're up in two points ahead of this fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And that's the posture Vasquez doesn't want to be in against the ropes with Arce digging to the body and the head. This might be a fight that raises the stock of both men, you know, because they both have fought so well and made this such an exciting fight. Uh, Arce has now thrown 521 punches in this fight wow. to 277 by Vasquez. Uh, but Vasquez has landed 124 to 145 for Arce. So Vasquez has been very accurate with his punches. Think about Arce now. Can he keep up this pace? Yeah. I was, just, <laughs> I was just thinking that this pace has slowed just a bit, but who can blame them? Eight seconds to go in the eighth. Mm -hmm. the 12, the WBO Junior Featherweight World title, and they have left their hearts out in oh, the ring. Wow. Great uh, effort. Fight fans, it will not be long. The phenomenon is getting loose in his dressing room. The great Manny Pacquiao, who many consider to be the pound for pound best fighter on the planet, taking on a future Hall of Famer as well in Shane Mosley. That's his strength coach, Alex Ariza, who is a big part of his success. And Sugar Shane. <laughs> now, Zim Richardson, of course, the, the architect of what they hope will be a winning game plan. One of the big robberies in this fight is Nazim Richardson and Freddie Roach, two of the best trainers in boxing. And it's not a party in Las Vegas, folks. Without Paris in attendance. I feel chic that we're here with him. You know that? <laughs> I feel like we're in the in crowd. Hey, we're in the building, <laughs> and so is he. Ninth round scheduled for 12 for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. Alfredo Vasquez Jr., the champion. 20 0 and 1 with 17 KOs of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Taking on Jorge Arce, a former champion as well, moving up in weight, and he's fought a terrific, courageous fight. 
cut on the bridge of the nose. He was dropped in the fourth round with a nice sharp left hook from Vasquez Jr. No, our state's 11 and 4 in world title fights. We mentioned that Vasquez is the first undefeated in his world title fights, but this is uh, oh, not that's a slip, not a uh, not a knockdown. And we talk about the 31-year-old Arce. The last round, just as we were talking about whether he would slow down, he came out with a rush at the end of that round. But we'll see how these championship rounds treat him. Vasquez 2 and 0 oh in 12 round fights and Arce is 9 and 3 a lot more experience going the distance oh, oh, oh. championship distance another short left hook connecting Vasquez Jr. Yeah, that kind of left hook has definitely found a home. And uh, I mean, I like to see him, you know, follow that up with something. Who knows? Come on, you guys are holding too much. Arce does a much better job when he uses a jab to get closer as opposed to, as you mentioned, lunging forward. Let's go, let's hold it. Yeah, but that's his style. He's a face first type of fighter, and he don't mind taking a few punches to get in because when he gets in, he's going to deliver some punishment, and that's his trademark. Yeah, Joe Cortez admonishing them for holding. I think they're holding because they're tired. I don't think it's even a ploy. I just think when they get inside, they're buying a few moments. This has been fought at a ridiculous pace. And if they are tired, then, you know, who can blame them? Because, you know, they're in there letting it all go. Yeah, I mean, this is the end of round nine of a very tough fight. And it may boil down to who gets their second win best in these last few rounds. Break, break out, break out. Come on, watch ahead. Let's go. Seconds ago, in the ninth, the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title, Fredo Vasquez Jr. and Jorge Arce. There had been a round knockdown earlier in this fight, but this is not a knockdown. This is a, kind of a push, and good jab landed, but Arce pushed. Vasquez Jr. down and Joe Cortez doing a good job of getting there very quickly to not allow another punch to be landed. And here in this sequence, you'll see the body work by Arce and trying to land the double left hook, but he walked into a counter left hook by Vasquez. And how many of those counter left hooks have we seen during this uh, fight? Vasquez's jab has been a, a weapon for the most part, but um, I think the jab might have been more effective for him if he had thrown it a little bit more in this fight. Yeah, and it seems like, uh, you know, Arce just ran into that jab. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. He wasn't going to miss it. So the 10th round scheduled for 12 for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. The champion quickly across the stool. Alfredo Vasquez Jr., he has on the black shoes and Jorge Arce the challenger with the blue that was a good right hand a moment ago from Vasquez I, one thing I really expected in this fight was to see him throw more right hands that were effective but that left hook has worked very well for him so it's kind of replaced that punch and what I like about Vasquez is when he's delivering his shots he's on balance he has his legs up under him he's turning his hips into all those shots and that's what makes him such a powerful punch it's a really good point his technique is really good and things are certainly close on press row. Well, a majority draw at this juncture. Two of the uh, folks, Tim Dahlberg, Associated Press, Lance Pugmire, uh, the LA Times, and, uh, had a, a draw. And Chris Maddox of SportsIllustrated.com has it uh, a two-point win so far for Vasquez Jr. in our unofficial press row scoring. I have a two-point victory for Vasquez at this point. And I have that same score. But, hey, either one of those rounds oh, lately could have went either way. Absolutely. This fight could Oh, good hook and uppercut by Vasquez. Oh, 
You know, in the unforgiving world of boxing, even though Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. has 17 knockouts in his 20 wins, some will look at this and say, you mean he couldn't hurt Jorge Arce bad enough to knock him out in a fight in which, oh, there's a, uh, that would be a slip as well, in which Arce's coming so far up and wait. Now, I think that's asking too much, but some folks may be tempted to say that. He did have Arce down in this fight. And it's not like he had landed those type of knockout punches. But... Well, and I think that's the point. The question is, will he be able to be a true knockout puncher against top competition at 122? I think he's in top-notch competition now. Arce is just determined I agree. not to be knocked out. He's going to have to hit him with a punch he don't see or catch with one of those devastating count on lefts. Yeah, I, I agree. It's just a question of him coming up and wait. And, uh, and I think it is too myopic of you, but some people may look at this afterwards and say that. But you are not one of them. You know, a lot of times when a guy loses weight, sweats down, they actually weaken themselves. And a few good extra pounds of water weight on the brain and in the body yep. does them well. Yeah, and apparently it has for our sake. It's a very good point. I think it's done me extremely well. <laughs> and me way too well. Break out, come on. But you're down the cruiserweight again, Antonio Tarver. So I got, you're, you're I got my me. work ahead of me, believe yeah. me. 17 seconds to go in the 10th round. Schedule for 12. Another short left hand getting in. Vasquez on Arce. Flores at the end of the round. Pretty good round for Jorge Arce. And that's how you have to finish. Yep. World famous poker player Phil Ivey in attendance for Pacquiao Mosley. Are you feeling okay? These are the, the best rounds now. Close your eyes. Okay, this is the round we got. There's two rounds left. We got to really good work on it now. Just keep going close with him. And keep close to his chest. Close to his chest. And keep throwing the hook. Keep throwing the hook. That's what's working for you. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., the champion, Jorge Arce. The challenger, 11th round for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. That shot at the end of the round explains why we have such respect for great boxers. That gash on the nose, if you're walking around on the street and you have it, you're rushing to the emergency room. He's trying to win a 12-round fight with that gash on his nose and not slowing up a beat. Not at all. Putting his punches oh. together, that left hook behind the elbow, very effective for Jorge Arce. Yeah, right now it's pressure. He's applying some serious pressure, and that gives him the best chance to win when Vasquez is, has his back to the rope and is backing up. Yes, that's the posture he doesn't want to be in. We mentioned uh, Arce nine and three and. 12 round fights and Vasquez 2 and 0. So both men have had success at this yeah. level. Oh, good hooks by both men. Wow. And Arce still come delivering on, the pressure. Break, 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 come on, let's go. Break, come on, don't break and break. Don't break and break. Vasquez might be hurt here. I mean, it looks like his legs are wobbled a little bit. And he's not firing back like we used to seeing him fire back. Gus. Won his last fight though in the 11th round, the TKO. Boy, Arce. Ivan Hernandez. Oh, Arce with the jab backs up Vasquez Jr. He's on the ropes now. Arce continuing to move, throwing shots. Vasquez Jr. He squared up on the ring rope. Look at his legs. He squared up. He cannot deliver any power from that position. He has to get that back leg back. Breathing out of his mouth as well, Vasquez Jr. Now hold on to Arce. It's important for the young fighter to get his composure right now, and he may want to just, you know, move around. Give him some lateral movement. Don't stay there. 
Vasquez Jr. looks like he's on shaky legs and he's taken to the ground again. And remember, this fight is close. I mean, these are championship rounds for the champion. He has to win these rounds and look good doing it. Arce moving in again. Underneath the body shots, looping left hook connects. This is making it messy and being effective, and that's what Arce's done. Ten seconds to go in the 11th round. Jorge Arce. Vasquez's legs does not look strong to me. He's leaning on the ropes. He's going to have to regroup. Jorge Arce done with a huge smile on his face. Vasquez Jr. wobbled back to his corner. I mean, he is in some trouble. He's hurt. Arce just wouldn't be stopped in this round. This was when Vasquez had already been hurt, and you see, and Antonio did a, made a terrific comment about those legs being spread apart, and he in a position where he can't fire back, he can't punch, and the legs are not really supporting him as well, only the ropes are. And later on in the round, Arce walking through punches to get to Vasquez and landing that left hook and others. And what I also liked about it, Antonio, was the fact that Arce never stopped using the body attack as well as the head. Yeah, you can see where that body attack really wore down Vasquez because he didn't have any legs by the end of that round, Al. So the 12th and final round for the WBO Junior Featherweight World title. It looks like it's close, guys. How do you have it? Yeah, I've got a one-point win for Vasquez Jr. right now, but, you know, with that, I had it two rounds ahead of before that round. I have this oh, dead even. Arce, okay. he's got him in trouble. Arce has him on the ropes. Combinations. Arce, left hand, right hook. Vasquez Jr. holding on. Cortez right there. Why won't he hold? Arce. He needs to hold him. Joe Cortez doing a good job of letting them fight. He sees Vasquez punching in the towel. Oh, oh my. my. No. Wow. Wilfred. Vasquez Sr. throwing the towel on his son. And Jorge Arce wins the title here in Vegas. I don't agree with that stoppage because Vasquez had just landed a very crisp right hand. But then again, it's the inexperience and the love that a father has for a son that has never seen his son in this type of predicament, they panic. I would, uh, yeah, I would say that had to do with the family relationship. This is a charming and nice young man. The father loves him. He's not that, he's not been a professional forever. You see the concern in the corner? That's his father talking to him. And again, Al, no amateur experience, an experienced amateur would have known to grab and hold at least until the referee broke him up. And look at what Alfredo Vasquez Sr. is saying to his child. Father, son, the disappointment in the son's face, but the wise nature of the former world champion. Again, love stepped in. And, it, and I, I, I've been there, and he's tried to protect his son tonight rather than letting him yeah. go out on his shield if he had to. And you never know how those scorecards would have read. Well, that, I know. guess that's the key question. You can't, you certainly can't denigrate him for not wanting to see his son get punished, but this was a very close fight, and boy, what a moment for Jorge Arce. This is, in real time, what was going on when the tower was thrown in. Now, pay attention. You see Vasquez will land, I think, a left hook here. Vasquez doing here. There, he lands the right hand, but he's getting punished. There's no question about that. Watch this devastating right hand, Vasquez. In the, somewhere coming up close here. And the towel shortly will come in. And remember, his dad's on the other side of the ring, so he doesn't get a real close look at exactly what is happening. There's where the towel came in. So his son was looking across the ring at his dad when the towel came in. There was a 
water bottle and a towel also thrown in that will get Joe Cortez's attention. There you see, they are trying to get this fight stopped. That was Vasquez Sr. that threw the water bottle in also. And Tuto Zavala, his junior, his, his, his promoter, rushes into the ring. I'm curious to know, where did the official judges have this fight at the time of the stop? We will find that out, that's for sure, and that will be interesting. A lot of drama here this evening already. But what a win for Jorge Arce. He wins the WBO Junior Featherweight World title. And at the end of the stoppage, this is how it looked. That's Press Row and unofficial scoring. They had it a, a, a majority draw with Vasquez Jr. had on by two points on Chris Mannix. Well, so that clearly the press row scoring very, very close. I had it a draw as well, Al, before the stoppage. I gave Arce actually the 10th and 11th round. Punch numbers intriguing to say the least. So in the last month, two of Puerto Rico's, as you take a look, great champions have fallen, Juan Ma and now Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Both losing to great Mexican champ, former champions, and so they're, they're two up in the rivalry right this year. And excited Jorge Arce. Now let's go inside the ring and our Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 55 seconds in round number 12 in recognizing the corner's desires. Our referee in charge, Joe Cortez, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is the new WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Jorge El Tradieso Arce. Improves to 57, 6 and 2. And he wins yet another world championship. The year of the upset continues. Uh oh. Is Shane Mosley watching all uh -oh. this back in that locker room and saying, this is about this is the fifth major upset within a six-week period in the sport of boxing. Ow. I'm I'm gonna uh, I would say bet the difference. Would you really consider this upset? Yes. Would I, you look at Hoy Arce on all the experience, all the championship fights? He's fighting a young guy that has a great name, but no amateur background. And hey, this is on his third title defense. When you really look at it, I wouldn't consider it an upset. I agree, but I think Vasquez Jr. as a champ was probably the favorite. But I, I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. Good points by both men. As you take a look at the time of the stoppage, the scorecards. Very intriguing that Robert Hoyle had a huge margin for wow. Arce, liking wow. his aggression. Okay. But the other judges had it even. Now, let's just assume that the, the fight wasn't stopped. Probably then, he would have certainly lost the last round, Vasquez Jr., and, and probably we would have, have a new champion. We would have a new champion in any case. So I don't know if the stoppage had an effect on who was going to win, but it clearly was a close fight on two scorecards. And again, taking nothing away from Roberto Vasquez Jr., he'll learn from this fight, yes, take sir. some time off, and hey, he has to get back to the drawing board. There's some things he could have done to save himself tonight. And that was a monumental effort by that man Jorge yes. Arce, way up in weight from where he started at 31. And he told us he would do it. Yes, he did. So congratulations to Jorge Arce as he defeats Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. and takes the WBO Jr. Featherweight World Championship. Now let's go back to our host position and our fine host, Mr. James Brown. All right, Gus, it was the veteran savvy that got it done. The youngster, I love his heart, but it was a father's instincts and intelligence that said, let's put a halt to this. Well, folks, coming up, that was a nice hors d'oeuvre setup for the main event.